Welcome to Encounters. Today we're excited to have Sister Lana Shoulders and Sister Carol Dollars, and Lana's going to kind of be heading up most of this. We're going to be studying on long suffering today, one of the fruits of the Spirit. And many of us, we uh, we kind of kind of dread studying on that sometimes. Because, <laughs> but you know, I think sometimes we get um, we're not quite sure, Lana, the the exact meaning of that. All but right. uh, but in the studies, I'm sure you you know, you've uh, God's given you a word as He did Carol with the others. But I want to get right into this, and as I said earlier, pull out your Bible, take some notes if you yes, can, and, right. and if you're not, if you don't have access to your Word right now, hey, you can go back and watch the program. Yes. We'll have be posting it on our website at a certain point in time, and you can just uh, watch it again and take notes. Amen. Right, Praise right, God. Amen. So, Sister Lana, welcome. Oh, it's so nice to be here. So good to be with you ladies. Yes. Always such a blessing. So. So we're going to be talking about long suffering. And so on my way here, I had a, the opportunity <laughs> to be patient or long suffering in traffic. And that, <laughs> yes. you know, that's a huge arena for most of us, you know, that we have need of long suffering and patience in, is in traffic, yes. you know, because traffic can be so heavily and people get impatient, you know. And so, you know, keeping uh, other fruits of the spirit, mm -hmm. you know, in operation, such as keeping our peace, keeping our joy in the midst of it. So, uh, but anyway, I want to share a little bit about long suffering. Actually, long suffering are, and peace are the same thing, you know, to suffer long, you know, and long tempered. It's self restraint. Mm -hmm. You know, how many of us need self restraint? Oh, Thank God yes. for the, the restraint of the Holy Spirit. So, as we yield to the, the Holy Spirit, there will be self restraint. And when uh, self restraint, when one is stirred to anger, Anger. They don't immediately react, react or retaliate, on, and they uh, are forbearing and patient. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing a lot of um, the fruit of the Spirit that uh, just tag alongside one another. Yes, you know? sure does. And so even in the definition of, of, of this particular fruit. So, you know, there's so many examples uh, in, in Scripture about those that uh, walked in patience. You know, mm -hmm. you, you think about, you know, we always heard the patience of Job, uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. to, to have it, the patience of him, you know. Think of all the things that he went through and all the things that he lost and, right. you know, and, and he was mocked and, and, and so, so many things. But yet, you know, uh, that didn't diminish uh, his testimony testimony in, in the, right. the Lord. And, you know, the Lord knew when he allowed Satan to have him for a season, you know, that he would not turn his back on God. And so, there, you know, patience Amen. in that, Amen. long suffering in that. So praise God. And we, we, we all, I think we, we go through all these things. Yes. Yes. But to obtain these fruits of the spirit, right. I mean, um, it makes me feel good when I learn something new. Yes. You know, sometimes yes. I think I know. It helps us. But, you know, <laughs> I totally find it, that's not what right. it was all about. Right. And I yes. go, well, thank you, Lord, yes. for showing me the true Amen. You know, definition of this. Amen. You know, man has their definition. Right. But, you know, it, oftentimes it doesn't line up with the Word of God. Exactly. exactly. And so, I'm, of course, we all take God's Word over anything man Amen. says. Amen. We have to. Uh, we have to yes. because we will be all confused. Right. Uh, you know, we've all heard the phrase, patience is a virtue, yet we live in a world that right. is like, give me now, I want it now. Right. You know, right. we're so patient. Patient, what, what, what I call the popcorn generation, right. the microwave generation. Right. Right. You know, uh, Years ago, I remember when uh, we got a, micro, a different microwave, um, I had put uh, a bag of popcorn in the microwave. Now, we know how quick the microwave you know, cooks. I'm, I caught myself tapping my foot waiting for <laughs> the popcorn. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's the way we do. We oh, become yeah. impatient. Right, right. And, uh, and uh, we don't wait upon the Lord right. for the good things, uh, right. the good revelation, the good word, the good gospel. You right. know, because uh, any gospel of Jesus Christ is good. The right. good news. Right. Amen. Right. Yes. You know, and that's important to bring in a, in a time that we live in, you know, when we have microwaves and we have our smartphones mm -hmm. and, you know, and we try to uh, upload things very quickly, you know. And, like, oh. and, yes. And, 
Oh, you see that wheel going on. <laughs> so if it takes over five seconds, you yeah. go, oh, it's taking too long, you know. <laughs> and, I, and I think we miss out a yes. lot of times on even like, you know, on social media, say Facebook, for instance. You know, we miss out on some more important things because a lot of pe people's attention spans are mm -hmm. so short. Mm -hmm. And it's like you got to grab their attention span just mm -hmm. like that. Amen. And I'm like, Amen. Holy Spirit, do it quickly, you mm -hmm. know, to, to grab attention. But, right. you know, God wants us to develop um, that patience, mm -hmm. that long suffering where we're willing to be still. Yes. yes. Be still. Absolutely. Yes. And to hear his small, still voice. Amen. That's when we get such clear instruction when we're still. When we get major downloads mm -hmm. from Holy Spirit mm -hmm. when yes. we do that. Mm -hmm. And so that's important. part of being patient oh, and long yes. suffering. And so that's what happened to yes. me when I got still on vacation. Right. I couldn't do nothing but rest. Right, <laughs> yes. You know, and I you know, just sat there and rested. Uh, that's when the Lord began to just downloading into me things, you know, and, you know I was you know, seeking yes, His face and I was praying and just sitting there, just praying, you know, to myself. I wasn't praying out loud, right, right. Uh, but that's when He began to just be, uh, began to download into my spirit different things. Right. And, and you know, I've got notes, I've probably got about 10 or 12 pages of, of things that the Lord just spoke to me. And, and when he says to go with it, I'll go with it. But right. you know, until yeah, then, I don't want to jump ahead of God again. I got to have patience. Right. <laughs> that's right. That's well, so I want to share a little bit of scripture okay. in uh, James, the book of James in okay. chapter 5. And I'm going to start with verse 7. And this is about being patient and persevering. And we all need that, right? We've Absolutely. got to persevere in our faith. So verse 7 says, Therefore, be patient, brethren, until Till the coming of the Lord. So we're in that time mm -hmm. right now. We're mm -hmm. to occupy until he comes. So in occupying, we're to be patient yes. until the coming yes. of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and the latter rain. And you were speaking of that earlier yes. about, you know, farmer planting the mm -hmm. seed. You also be patient establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord is at hand. So the Lord is wanting to develop that patience in us until till he comes, yes. you know, and knowing that whatever seed that we're, plant, we're planting, mm -hmm. somebody else is going to come along and water that seed mm -hmm. and that God himself is going to come and bring the increase. Amen. 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 And I mean, that is a promise. That is a principle. And so, you know, God wants us to develop patience in that, that it's going to spring forth right. and it's going to bring forth that which it is, whatever seed it is. Mm -hmm. If it's a corn, it's going to bring forth corn. You know, mm -hmm. if it's a tomato, it's going to bring forth tomatoes, yes. you know, and then compare that to the spiritual. Okay. Verse nine, do not grumble against one another. This is a big one, mm -hmm. right? Amen. We have a tendency, every last one of us have an opportunity to grumble against one another. Mm -hmm. And the Lord doesn't want us to do yeah, that. We're right. not to be complaining and grumbling no, no. against one another. Lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. I think if we forever keep that before us, mm -hmm. that God, the righteous judge, is standing and he's hearing our conversation. Yes, right now we're having a conversation, you know, where it's being broadcast, but our conversation's in secret. God hears those conversations exactly. yes, and he does. that it be pleasing to him, okay? So he's standing at the door and we're talking about patience and and, and persevering here. Okay. He says, my brethren, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord as an example of suffering and patience. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to stop right there a minute. The prophets who would speak things many times ahead of time mm -hmm. when no one else is seeing that. Mm -hmm. It's the same today. Right. So they have to stand in patience. They're, they're the, just the deliverer. Right. God is speaking through them. Okay. And so in patience and seeing that come to fruition. Right. Yes. 
and the suffering of that because they're suffering because you know you're speaking something that not everybody around you is understanding exactly. at the time yeah. they're not seeing it mm -hmm. at the time and right. they don't understand exactly it. Yeah. and sometimes mm -hmm. it's hard for them to grasp the fact and and to receive that right. word right uh, but you know we've got to grasp a hold of it hey if that's what God says I believe in his yes. word yes. his word is coming through that right. messenger right and we need to Take hold of that word right. and have the patience yes. to see it come into yes. fruition. Yes, yes, so true. And just like with the prophets as well, mm -hmm. they have to have patience with people, mm -hmm. realizing that they don't see it just yet, but mm -hmm. believe Holy Spirit will bring them to the place where they will see it and Amen. they will know Amen. it and Amen. believe it exactly. in their Amen. hearts. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so they're an example of patience and long suffering. Verse 11, indeed we count them blessed who endure. You know, have you ever stopped to think about that? We're blessed that endure until we see mm -hmm. that promise come to fulfillment, okay? You have heard of the perseverance of Job, which I spoke of right. earlier, and seen the end intended by the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and merciful. I mean, that's the bottom line. The Lord, He is very, He's long suffering. Yes, He is. <laughs> you know, sure He's long is. suffering. He's patient. He doesn't want anyone to perish. Right. So He's long suffering with us, praise God. Mm -hmm. You know, He sees the end from the beginning, but, you know, He's being patient until that end is coming mm -hmm. into the now. Mm -hmm. Is that making sense? Right, right. Amen. So he, he, you know, God is developing that patience in us and long suffering and to be long suffering like he is. I mean, that's part of the, uh, the fruit of the spirit is the attributes of God. Yes, it is. Absolutely. So long suffering and patience is one of those attributes yes. of God. He deals with us. Yes. yes. Amen. So this is being part of his character being developed in us. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm mm. so thankful that he doesn't give up on us. Amen. Yes. And he knew what he was doing when he called us. That's right. Yes. That's right. Well, I have to remind yes. myself to produce the long suffering. I have to remind myself that long suffering is the quality of being able to persevere under pressure yeah, that's and good. to keep your peace. Uh -huh. yes. Long suffering endures yes. without yes. complaints. Amen. Long Amen. suffering and patience is not easily provoked, having a calm expectation being even tempered. Amen. Amen. Wow. That's good. See, wow. I have some overcoming today. <laughs> we all do, Carol. You know, when you said under pressure, you know what came to my mind? A pressure cooker. Yes. Sometimes we do. We feel like we're inside that pressure cooker. Yes. yes. And sometimes you can literally see uh, on the faces of people, they're under such stress. Yes. Duress. And such a uh, um, pressure right. that, you know, just at any moment, you know, they possibly could just, you know, just blow. And right. we know that when, you know, sometimes we take things, we endure and we endure and endure. But the thing is, when we walk with God, when we walk in the peace, that won't happen. Right. Praise God. Because we, we re like you said, you remind yourself. Yes. We've got to remind ourselves daily. Mm -hmm. Doesn't the Word of God say to renew your mind daily? You know, how do yes. you do that? Through this Word Amen. right here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, when so, Moses was delivering the children of Israel, and he was up on Mount Sinai. He wanted to see this God that yes. had done so much mm -hmm. to him. And it says in Exodus 34, And the Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in mm. goodness and truth. That's, Praise good. God. That's my God. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes. That's my Amen. Lord. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise I'll, I'll read that again. I want Isn't that to get in Isn't that good? Us. Amen. And the Lord passed before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord, merciful and goodness and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. Amen. 
so merciful and gracious, long suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth. I'm so glad that his goodness passes before us. And then David said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all all the the days days of my life. life. You know, I would say that David, you know, he developed a long suffering and patience in his life (laughs) as well, you know, and and all the battles, you know, that he he walked through. uh, Mentioning David, you know what? um, I was thinking when you said that, you remember when when he was hiding in the cave, mm-hmm. and that and Saul was there. he was right behind Saul. He could have done something. Right, right. But he, he could have destroyed. Him. Him. He could have destroyed him. Right. He wouldn't have had no but problem. He didn't. He's a giant killer. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> amen. But through, through the patience and the long suffering. Yes, he did. And having the peace of God, mm-hmm. he knew yes, that that wasn't what he was supposed right, to do. Right, That's Praise right. God. So many times we have the opportunity to do things what our flesh wants to do. Right, right. But if we will learn to tell the difference between what our flesh wants to do and what our spirit wants to do. Exactly. I often say that if, if you're praying for confirmation on something that you, you know is already in the Word of God says not to do, and, and you, you say you get confirmation to do it, you're not listening to the voice of God. Because God doesn't go against His Word. Amen. Amen. Never. All right. Never. All right. The Word is so good. Amen. Well, I'd like to share a little bit that's in my uh, leadership Bible about the law of process. We mature like a seed awaiting harvest, Mm. which is on these scriptures in James chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. Jane calls us to be patient which really the Lord is calling us Amen. to be Amen. patient, Amen. Right. you know. But the book of James is calling us to be patient, and it's one of the books that's doing that. Just like a farmer who is patiently waits for his harvest. And that's what farmers do. I grew up on a farm, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, I understand the principle of farming, and there's a lot of patience and long suffering yes. that goes along with farming, mm-hmm. you know, waiting wow. that harvest. And then, yes. you know, and sometimes you plant and then sometimes you have to replant, Mm -hmm. you know, and lots of processes that you have to go through. So the farmer knows that if he picks the corn too early, he will miss out on some of the grain. Mm. So wow. we have to, to be patient, not to do it too early. How many times do we do mm-hmm. things hastily? Mm-hmm. You know, we get ahead of mm-hmm. the Lord, mm-hmm. you know, and we want to step out <laughs> and do that. And, and you've shared that many times, but yes. you're just sharing something that most yes. all of us do, you know. Uh, I think about my daddy, you know, growing up, you know, um, he, he's not that way now, you know. The Lord has developed a lot of patience in his life as well. Mm-hmm. But just little things like um, trying to get bread out of a bread sack. He wouldn't untie it. He would just break open the sack, you know, and a lot of times we do that. Uh uh And sometimes what we have seen other people do, just like I watched him do that, there have been times that I will do the same thing and then I stop myself and think, Okay, slow down, Lama. That's not that important, (laughs) you know. So developing that patience, okay. So, you know, uh, the book of James is uh, giving an analogy of a farmer with heart that you don't pick it too soon. Don't Mm -hmm. get ahead, you know. Don't get hastily in it, okay. So it, it is with us. The law of process reminds us that our leadership development is a process, not an event. Now, in this particular book, this is a leadership Bible, but we are all that are born again ministers of the Lord Jesus Mm -hmm. Christ, and we all are leaders in in a sense because the world is looking at us. We're leading at some capacity, Mm -hmm. okay? We're living epistles, right? Mm -hmm. So So we're an open book. Yes, we are. Right. So we're leading by our lives Mm -hmm. that we live, okay? All right. So we go through processes. And through these processes, God is wanting to develop patience and long-suffering. Uh, I, I'm thinking of right now, many of us, we get prophetic words, right? And I, and I watch this many times, people get prophetic words, and they just want to run with that prophetic word today, you know. Mm-hmm. And, it's and, and you know, today. they may get a prophetic word about a ministry or something, and then uh, they think they're supposed to just run out and do it today. Well, most of the time, there are processes going from A, B, C, D, E, mm-hmm. and t- that prophetic yes. word is true, 
but you got to go through the process. It's just like Joseph, okay? You know, Joseph, you know, he had to go through oh, from my. the pit to the palace. Praise well, God. think about the long suffering mm -hmm. and patience that was developed in Joseph, He's you know. A, oh, he was long exactly. suffering, Lana. Oh, yes. my, my. But he knew. He knew what God had showed him in a dream. Yes. And yes. He, he stood on that. Exactly. He did not forget the dream. Exactly. So many times okay. when, when all these things come against us, we forget the dream. Right. We That's forget good. what God has given right. us. And uh, That's a just good point. In, in, instilled in us. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need one another to yes. hold one another up. Right. Yes. You know, we if sure Carol's do. going through something and the Lord gave her a dream uh, that he was going to do something and, and she starts getting kind of downtrodden, it's our duty as a Christian to instill it. Don't forget yes. your dream, Carol. Amen. Don't forget Amen. the dream Amen. that God gives yes. you. Yes. Don't sure. forget it. Exactly. And that's what we should do. Yes, yes. Mm. So be like an Aaron and her to Moses, so to speak, and just hold, hold up, up another. each other's arms arms, you know, and, and then uh, remind them, like you said, like of a dream or a prophetic word, mm -hmm. you know, and hold fast to that prophetic yes. word. But, re you know, also realizing that there's processes to go through and that it will come yeah, forth. Yeah. When the Lord says something's going to come forth, it's going to come right. forth. It, it may, may not, look opposite right, of that. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. But again, we're not supposed to go by what's exactly, our circumstance. Exactly. But by what God's word exactly. says about sure. our circumstance. Yes, Amen. Yes, yeah. So, you know, and it may not come as soon as we think. It may not come how we think. Mm -hmm. It usually doesn't. It usually doesn't True. even look like we think it's going to look, mm -hmm. you know, by the time the Lord gets through with us. So. And we need to be aware that the devil will try to steal your yes. dream. He will try to steal that calling right. on your life. Right. Absolutely. And uh, that's why we need one another. Yes. Right. Right. That's, what, that's what the Lord is speaking to me now. We need one another. Yes, Definitely, we because yes. when we are in a storm, the devil will come to us and he will he will attack our emotions. Right. Yes, he will. And and, and attack our, our hearts yes. and our minds right. and try to get us off of fruit bearing and right. try to get us off of the word yes. and try to defeat us. But the, you cannot defeat a fruit-bearing Christian. Amen. He Amen. cannot no. do it. He Amen. does not have the power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I'll, I'll give you an example. You know, maybe someone has called to the ministry of restoration. Mm -hmm. You know how the enemy is going to attack that person? Trying to destroy their family life. Exactly. Uh, what they've, yes. you know, been taught and, right. and, and to teach on restoration. Right. And trying to cause havoc in their life. Right. And if we're not careful, if they don't have, uh, have someone to hold them up, the enemy will steal that ministry from them, and they've lost it. They've right. lost the dream. They've lost mm. the vision. The Word of God says, uh, if my people don't have a vision, what? They perish. perish. They perish. Mm -hmm. Yes. So right. it's up to us. We need to encourage one another, right. ladies. So we need to encourage one another, hold one another, not to give up. Right. It's so important. Yes, right. it is. Deborah. Yes, it is. And so to, not only to hold fast to that vision, mm -hmm. but write the vision. There's also about writing it down. It sticks mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. us more. You yes. Know, and make yes. it plain. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we're talking about uh, farmers, you know, and, and, and patience and farmers as well. Yes. Giving an analogy Lord. here. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus gave a lot of analogies, mm -hmm. didn't he? In the yes, scripture. He, did. <laughs> he taught in parables, yes, you know, he did. so we could understand it better. Amen. Amen. And so uh, a lot of times when we have visuals, you know, we will hang on to that as well. So God's wanting to develop this in it, in us, this patience, this long suffering, and it's a process. Mm -hmm. So we grow daily, not in a day. <laughs> daily, um. right? <laughs> we, we don't grow up just in one day, no. but you know, it's a daily process. Not only do we wait on Jesus to return, but he waits on us to grow. I think about he's coming back for a mature mm -hmm. bride. Yes, he is. Amen. So the processes mm -hmm. without spot or wrinkle. Without Ooh, spot my, or wrinkle. My. Amen. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, so he's working out these processes mm -hmm. in our life to bring forth the fruit of the spirit. And the fruit of the spirit we're Amen. talking about during this segment is the fruit of patience mm -hmm. and long suffering. Okay. He is not only preparing a place for us, but us for a place. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Wow. Praise God. <laughs> so that's why it's important that we become kingdom minded now, mm -hmm. you know, 
because, yes. you know, we'll be prepared for heaven, you know, because listen, you know, mm -hmm. we're to bring whatever things are going on in heaven, you know, that's to be brought to the earth realm, right? You know, in, in Jesus's prayer, you know, you know, uh, mm -hmm. let his will be done on earth yes. as it yes. is in heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's preparing for us a place, and you know, uh, and 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 we're just so looking forward to that. If the metaphor of a farmer doesn't do the trick for us, James supplies two more images. He reminds us of two further examples of patience: the prophets and Job which we read here mm -hmm. in James 11, 12. Yeah. Regardless of the image, the key is to focus on the fruit or result that will surely come in the end. Amen. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. So it's in our yielding to Holy Spirit, submitting ourselves unto the Lord, surrendering, mm -hmm. and that sweet oh. surrender, then... The Spirit of God is developing patience and long suffering and all the nine gifts, Thank you, Lord. The, the nine fruit, fruit of, the, of spirit the Spirit in our lives. Praise God. And I'm yes. so thankful for yes, that. Yes, and I'm amen. so thankful that He's long suffering and patient. Yes. Oh, where would we be? <laughs> oh, my amen. goodness, ladies, where would we be if He wasn't? That's right. right. And He right. tells us in Ephesians. For two, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing Amen. one another Amen. in love. Amen. So forbearing one another, yes. like, to be patient with, with one, one another, another. Yes. to be long suffering with I one another. I thank you, ladies, for your patience with me. <laughs> and, my, and me also. Uh -huh. <laughs> Add me to that list, praise God. I want to read this one okay. scripture, okay. Philippians 1 and 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work yes, in you yes. will perform it until the day of Jesus Amen. Christ. I love that. Amen. Don't give up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. What's this? What's the song? Uh, is it uh, Medisa or whatever? I can't remember her name. That sings uh, uh, a masterpiece and you know, I'm a work in project uh, process right. is what right. what is happening. Right. Don't expect it to happen overnight. Exactly. God, not to say that God can't do it, Amen. but it's an ongoing process. What are you looking for today? What are you seeking it. after? Are you, um, are, right now, are you discouraged? Uh, are you bound up in bondage? Whatever your need is today, God wants to work a miracle in your life today. He wants to set the captives free, and He will use His Word. He will use His ministers to minister the Word of God. Amen. He will use us to bring glory to Him. Right. Today, I want you to obtain that victory, that yes. peace, that love, yes. that joy, peace, long-suffering, patience. <laughs> Until next time, walk in love, Amen. and you keep your faith. Encounters is sponsored by Vessels of Honor Worldwide, AAA Enterprises, and the viewers. If you would like to contact Encounters, call 615-569-4148, email encounterswithgod at comcast.net or write to us at 117 Sunset Place, Portland, Tennessee, 37148.